think honestly uh, the team has, has, has improving a lot since I arrive I, I feel the improvement but I think uh, the team is improving since the coach uh, arrives in the team he's trying to put his hand on the team and making better and better and uh, I have to talk since I'm here so since I'm here I, th I feel the team is improving uh, but I think for what I see before the team was improving already giving big steps and sometimes fall down but trying to be consistent and I think Manchester United has, has to, to be a, a contender every season for the title for every trophy not for just for the Premier League but for every trophy Ooh, uh, I think the team and the, the can can do better and we know that but as I said we have to improve and keep improving if it will if we want to be champion we have to be the best version of ourselves Oliver basically uh, this is uh, history because we always talk about who is the best player in the world in the history blah, 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 and they always fight because they said Pele was the best of the history of football and uh, and I'm talking up with Cristiano in the middle of course for because for me Cristiano makes Cristiano and Messi for me I always said both they make history for many years like they can they was capable to be in the top for many years and of course the same as me they never see Pele playing they, they can't say he was the best because they, they never see they say because he's Brazilian in Brazil they said so I think I think Pele is one of the best in the world because I hear people talking about him I see some histories I see some videos and he was and everyone if you see Maradona Eusebio everyone talks about Pele being the best of uh, of all time but the about Rivaldo is because we talk we always fight about Rivaldo and Figo to know which which one was best uh, which the, was was the best so for me as a Portuguese I always defend my players it doesn't matter if I if I like them or not I will defend Portuguese players every time so this is a fight between Brazilian and Portuguese people well, but it's more a joke than uh, than other stuff. So Nick Hill, my favorite place is the same as uh, every every English person is Algarve. <laughs> I know you love you love that uh, my country. I know you love Algarve. I know you love the golf course. Uh, Honestly, I, I, I went many places, luckily for me, but for me, my country is, is the best one I can have to be, to have a vacation, to be with the family. Not because I don't like other countries, I like, but I feel more comfortable and I feel more at home when I go, when I go vacations in my, my home country. And I think uh, Algarve is one of the best places to, to be in the, in the summer, is, where is my vacation is always in the summer, so to take some sunshine, to have a uh, good food, good fish, and to, to meet some English people, because I see more English people over there than Portuguese. So Finley, I think the perfect penalty is the one who hits the net that one for me doesn't matter the way it goes in uh, if if the next uh, 20 penalties I have has to go in like Granada if they hit the net I'm, I, I will not be I will not be concerned about that because at the point they hit the net uh, for me it's it's the perfect one So David, uh, my relationship with Paul is since the beginning because I, I met Paul already in Italy. I, I already know him. It was like, like a relation, but um, of course we have a good relation. And I think on the pitch, it's, it's still it's still come to the best for both of us because I think we we can do much better together. We are, I think we are doing better now because people and players concern about who we mark now. We have Paul Pogba and Bruno Fernandes in the same places, in the same pockets. And so sometimes it's difficult to players to find who mark, to who give freedom. And so it's good for the team. That is the best for us because we know we can help the team playing together. And I think when you play with the best, you your best come, come out also. Because for me, playing with Paul 
um, he's playing with, with one of the best players in the world and so I think the best of me comes out because he's helped me to to have that that kind of qualities and uh, the good thing is out of the pitch we have a really really good relation and now with uh, with Perudo is is the game we we all play in the team and um, he's, he's getting better at the connections with the team because you know when you have that kind of connections it doesn't matter if it's the game of cards Perudo game is the one we are playing now Ludo sometimes is the one I play with Fred um, I think it's really good for us and for the team because you know sometimes it's just five or six of us playing but the rest of the team is there watching and saying no put this put that they say this say that and it's good for the team for the spirit of the team is really good and I think uh, at the opposite everyone thinks Paul is one of the players who, who can have to have a good spirit and a good a good mood on the dressing room because he's just really really a funny guy a guy who can have always uh, something something good to say to, to make people laugh. So Libby, I think uh, in the past I, I think more in my future. Now uh, I'm seeing the time passing and seeing kids coming uh, from 2000, 2001, 2002 and my sister is from 2000 for me is making some confusion in my head. I'm, I'm trying to enjoy enjoy the football, you know. I, I think I want to be a coach, honestly. I, I would like to be a coach. I don't know which team I would like to, to, to manage. Of course, the biggest team. If I can manage the, the Manchester United, I will be, I will be happy. I, I, I can leave just now a word so people in the future will see this. And if I'm a manager, they can make some pressure, the fans make some pressure to bring me as a coach. Uh, but I, I think I would like to be a coach in the future. I, I'm not sure, but for, for what I feel for football, for the feeling I have, I, I think I have to continue to be um, inside of football because my life is about, my whole life is about this. So I think in the future will be, needs to be with football too. So, for myself, the most important is achieving with both. Winning trophies is the most important thing I have in my mind now. Uh, I think for every player is, is is really important winning trophies because that is is the the thing you will remember more when you finish your career is the trophies you won, the the friends you made, the good moments you passed. So I think. Uh, in the end of the day, you work for winning trophies, and winning trophies is with your teammates. So you work hard as you can to help your team, to help your teammates, to 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 make that all work you have in the, in the training ground, giving some some joy. And giving some joy in football is winning trophies with your team. That is the most important for us. Welcome. So. I'm not. I, I don't stop drinking milk. The thing is, like the coach is, cha is changing me less than before. <laughs> before he changed me a lot of times, and uh, I think this time in the last, I think in the last games I was not uh, coming out a lot of times, and so you never see me with the uh, with the milk. But uh, and in this not, I, I don't, honestly I don't know if it's milk. Sometimes it's milk. Sometimes it's water with some uh, stuffs with the. To help us to recover, um, but it's okay. The milkman for me, it's okay. I don't worry about that. I like I like milk, so it's okay. And uh, I I still do it. I still do it. But sometimes it's in the dressing room. Sometimes I take that and bring to to my home to to drink. But don't worry because it's still there. Because if it was not still there, I was not running like I'm running now. <laughs>